What is up YouTube? Today we are back here in the studio. You guys are getting a different little view of it. And today we are gonna be covering how to make holograms of your phone, the screen popping up, popping down, kind of like what Peter McKinnon did. He did this a while back, but he did it in After Effects and he did it in Premiere Pro, and we are doing it in DaVinci. So I'm gonna show you guys how easy that this effect actually is, and it actually can work for any kind of screen that you can record, so your TV, um, any gaming consoles, your computer, if you're trying to do something kind of cool like, you know, tutorial editing effect, you can do that. I chose to do it on my phone like he did, as you just saw, but uh, like I said, it works with almost any screen that you can record, so let's not waste any more time, and let's get right into DaVinci, and let's start going over this effect. All right, guys, so we are back here in DaVinci Resolve yet again, and we are gonna be going over this hologram effect that you guys just saw. So as you can see, I have my, my footage of me and then I have my footage of my screen recording of my iPhone right down here. Now this is the finished effect right here, but I'm gonna show you guys how I did this. So what we're gonna do is come up here. I have the screen recording already up here in my window two, and I'm gonna select the screen recording that I want, bring it down, and this is what it looks like. So what we need to do is get rid of these black sides and the top red bar that says we're screen recording. So we're gonna to come to the inspector, we're gonna come down to cropping, make sure you have cropping open, and we're gonna just drag over on the top until that red bar is gone. And what you'll notice is both of the black bars on the right and left side disappear. So now that we have it cropped the way we want, what we're going to do is we need to position it and get it to the size that we would want it to do to make this effect look believable. So to do that, what we're gonna do is just zoom out a little bit, and we're gonna come over here and play with the X and Y position, get it to about where we want it. And what you would notice is that the screen is facing us and we kinda need that screen to face me. So what to do for that is you come down here to what is your pitch and your yaw. And to control these again, just go over here on the right and you can click and drag and the pitch tilt it up and down, and the yaw's gonna tilt it left and right. So what we need to do is tilt it left just a little bit, about like right there, and maybe tilt it down just a little bit. Now if you notice, it kinda turns into a square, and a phone screen is normally rectangular. To change that, all you gotta do is come up here under the zoom, click these links, and you're able then to adjust uh, the height and width, the x-axis and the y-axis, um, individually instead of linked. So what we want to do is just make it a little bit more of a rectangle, like so. And right there, it looks really, really good. Like, that's kind of like how we want it. Obviously, you want to match it up, speed ramp it to like your fingers and how you are like swiping through, but we're just gonna go over how to make this effect look like this. So what we're gonna do now is come up to the composite mode and we are gonna come down to screen and hit screen. And that instantly turns it into like a nice overlaid, almost hologram already looking effect the way it is. But one thing we do need to do is come down to the color. And what I like to do is select the clip and we're just gonna play with these shadows, midtones, and highlights. And all we're gonna do is because most holograms, when we think of them, are like a greenish blue. We're gonna come down and just drag it towards the teal, about halfway on each one. And watch when you hit this shadow, it instantly turns the whole thing teal. So we're gonna come back to the edit page. That's what it looks like. We can kind of adjust the opacity. If you want it really, really faint, or if you want it really strong, however you want. I'm gonna drop it to about 86%. I think that looks really, really good. And now, to animate that screen coming off the phone and then you know doing its thing and then going back onto the phone, first things you wanna do is come down and you wanna make it a new compound clip. Now that you made it a compound clip, 
any of the original adjustments that you've already made to this clip will not be changed when we're adjusting the size and location of uh, the hologram. So what we wanna do is we wanna position it over our phone, bring the zoom all the way down and get that position right over the phone and just zoom it all the way out. Now we wanna hit these right here, these little diamonds on the right side, these are keyframes. We wanna keyframe it in the beginning, come over maybe about one, two, three frames and we're going to reposition it where we had it. So we're gonna bring it, zoom back up to one, and we're gonna bring it over to where you would want it. And I want it about right there. So now when we play it back, it just pops up really quick. So now if my finger were tapping that screen, it would just pop up. Now to, do, to get it to go down is literally the same thing. So we're gonna start at the end and come back one, two, three keyframes. And we're gonna keyframe it where we wanna start and then come back one, two, three. And we want to zoom it out and bring it back over the phone. Position it, keep zooming out. Get it as close to that phone as you can and then just finish it up. So now when we were to tap the phone to make the hologram disappear, it just sucks right back into the phone just like that. So that is literally everything that goes into making these hologram effects. You just pop it up, pop it down. And it's, it is legitimately that simple, guys. I mean, you can make this as complicated as you want if you're moving your phone around and you wanted your hologram to be tracked to your phone or whatever screen you're using, we could go into the Fusion tab and use the planar tracker and we could track these screens onto our phones or whatever it is that we want to, to be tracked onto. And we'll get into that in the later tutorials where I go over all the different trackers within Fusion. But I mean, just to get a basic hologram screen without having to do a whole lot of work to it, this is all that it takes. I mean, we could go into Fusion and add shadows to make glows around the edges, but I think this looks really, really good and really clean, and it literally takes little to no time to do. So if you guys like this tutorial, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Make sure you guys are smashing that thumbs up button. I appreciate everybody who's been subscribing lately, and I appreciate all of you guys for following along with these tutorials. I have a whole bunch more coming out yet. I have a bunch of downtime in November, and in December, and I'm gonna be pumping these out probably twice a week and keep you guys uh, informed. And we can, like I always say, we can learn together and I love it. So thank you guys for uh, always showing love and being appreciative of the work. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.